Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a stationary pal haul. It's already opened up as you can see. I'm in a different location than I normally am. I am now in college and so I'm in my new dorm room. So we'll see how this goes. I also have this little pencil guy with and my coffee. Okay, let's just get right into it. So my stationery pal order was supposed to come with some like free, two free items I think, cause I reached a certain amount, but then those items didn't come, so I'm kind of upset. But I'm gonna need to check that out. Otherwise, I got a little tape runner. These are always useful for journaling. I actually have something I need to use this for right now. This is a mushroom tape. My tapes that I got in here got kind of squished. So they're a little weird shaped, but I can squish them back. But these are little mushroom stamps. So this is what they look like. They're really cute and I think they'll be a nice accent for my journaling. This was the little free item in my order. It's a keychain. I didn't know these were so small. I've never gotten these before, but I see people use them in stationary pal hauls and like little journaling videos so they're pretty tiny i got this one garden star but it's just got pretty little pictures that i can journal with i like the sky ones the most got some more washi tape these are also kind of weird well this one's weirdly shaped right now but i got some warm fall colors because i'm really excited for fall journaling so i wanted to get some stationery that got me more excited for fall journaling and ones that i could actually use because i don't know how much stationery i have is actually fall related so that's why i got these and a lot of the things that i got in this stationery haul this I've had my eye on for a while. It is a craft paper washi tape and it's really thick and so you can write on it. Comes with a little twine wrapped around it. This is giving me very fall vibes. And so this is like a sticky tape. It has a backing that I think is supposed to peel with it. I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm gonna have to figure that out later. These are just the cards it came with. This is also something I've had my eye on. They are black post-it notes and I have some pens that can write on black paper. So this will be a chance that I can use black paper in my journals. It does not have a cat, it's just black post-it notes and it's actually by post-it. And the dark colors are very full. This one's very fall. It's a washi set and I, I got it just because of the fall-ish ones. Sorry if there's any noise around me. There is traffic. There's a busy street right outside my room. So this is something I kind of expected. The tape rolls are always smaller than you think they will be. Like anything on the website really is smaller than it regularly would be at any other place. And it makes sense because their items are cheaper. But as you can see, we've got some fall type things in here. And the sides are really cute. Love the cat. Then I got these paper sets for journaling. So these have different printed papers in them. Some of them look like they have more texture. I just thought they would be a good accent for my journaling. And these ones are small enough that it would be easy to travel with and they wouldn't be too difficult to store. I have another one of these sets in a different color or just a different type. This is Cottage Garden. Oh wait, they're both Cottage Garden, okay. I really liked this pack because of how colorful it was and the texture as well. And this one's more plain. And then the last things are pens. I got some new Mild Liner brush pens. They are definitely not fall. <laughs> They're much more summery, but this is what I like out of colors. I like them to be very bright and colorful. And so these were all my favorite colors. So I was really excited. And I just love these pens so much that I've wanted to get more colors. So now I have more and they're colors that I really like. So it's really exciting. This is everything I have in the haul. I might film a journal with me later on to go along with this. Welcome to the journal with me portion of this video. 
So I already did some spreads with the stationary supplies. I just got my coffee with me. I got an espresso machine recently and I'm very excited about it. So you might see a lot of coffee or lattes with me in my videos from now on. I have my supplies sorted into these little bags. I have my papers, so I'm just picking out some that I think would be good for the spread. And then my other bag has the rest of the stationary supplies. And if you're wondering, I got the pouches just off of Amazon. I'm just pulling out all my different supplies and washi tapes. All my fall themed stationary supplies that I'm very excited about. And my dot liner. The heart washi tape was not a part of this haul, but I did find it recently at an art thrift store called Scrap. Look at how pretty my coffee looks. So I really love this craft paper washi tape because it's very thick, but I'm kind of just debating on what I want to use and I'm thinking about this black post-it, the craft paper. I love ripping up the papers to have a rugged edge look, it makes it look less harsh and better for fall. So I decided to go with the craft paper and a black post-it note for this one spread, but I am doing multiple because I'm doing the uh, full page spread, but they're kind of separate from each other. I didn't really make them so they would go together. It kind of got cut off, but I did put some washi tape at the end of the page. And now I'm putting on some of these washi stickers of mushrooms that are super cute. I'm loving these washi tape stickers, but you don't really get to pick out which one you get. It's kind of just the next one on the roll, but otherwise I really like it. I'm just picking out which washi tape I want to use. I used the plant one for this side of the page. I'm just so in love with these washi tapes. I think they're so pretty. And I also use some of the fall leaves. I think it has a snail on it too. For the top part. Now I'm working the other side of the page, which is not really connected. They're kind of two separate spreads, but all using the new stationary supplies. So I'm layering these ripped pages, and I think it looks pretty cool. I'm using the Tombow glue. I think it's like the mono glue. Yeah, Tombow makes really nice like products in general, but also for some reason glue products. I really enjoy theirs. Oh, it's the mono liquid glue aqua. Again, I'm using the same set of washi tape, but this time I reached for like, it's like different buildings. Think of it as like the house washi tape, but it's also got like bookstore and like windows. And I think just different buildings. But I'm putting it on both the top and bottom of the page. That way the page is balanced. And yeah, so these are the past spreads that I did with the same supplies. And then here is the ones I just made. I just needed to update um, one of the past pages real quick, but then this is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one.